we're going to attempt to create a triangle in the Sketch Your Workbench using the Line feature. So I'm going to hit Alt-Tab to get me back to Katia. And I'm going to go to the Line feature. Sorry, the Line feature. Now if you need more help with this, you can hit F1 to get further descriptions on how to use this command. You must first have a sketch in the part body. If your sketch is in the geometrical set, we need to go to the standard tab and exit and re-enter the sketch workbench as you were shown in the previous demo. Select this profile here or this icon, the L shape, and select sketcher. The part body must be the in-work object. It must be underlined. In other words, you must set this to the define in-work object. Select this, select this sketch. From the previous exercise, you learned how to slide this out of the way. So I'm going to move the axis out of my way where I don't even link up to it. Don't go nowhere near it. Don't, don't let anything touch it. Okay, I don't want to work on that axis at all. I'm going to go to Sketch tab, and I'm going to find the Line feature. Under the Line feature, you simply click a position, click another position, and that's how you create a line. Again, this is the Line feature. The features are on the bottom row. The tabs are on the top. I'm in the Sketch tab, Line feature. Select the line. Make sure to click right on the top. And you see that little blue dot? That lets you know that this is going to be an adjacent line. So make sure you see that blue dot. Click a position. And I'm going to go straight down and then over two, just like the other one is. We'll create an isosceles triangle. Okay, so I just created another line here. To close this off, I'll use the line command. Make sure, again, the blue dot is there. Click a position and click another position. Okay. To prove that you did this assignment, you're going to go into search and find the Word document. So type in Word and click on this. And let's create a new blank document. Hopefully you already know how to do that. And I'm going to go to this thing here. It's called the Sketcher Workbench. So I'm just going to type that in on the other one. So Sketcher Workbench. And we'll type in Demo 1. And then what you do is you go to you go to Katia. So I click on the tab. Here's my Katia screen. What I like to do if I have only one screen if you have two screens, it's a little easier, but I'm going to do this off of one screen. I simply hold the Alt and hit Tab one time and then let go. Let's me know, or let's me go back to that Word document. Again, Alt, Tab, comes up with the window, lets you see all the windows that you have access. When you have the window you want, you just let go. So Alt, Tab, let go of the Alt button, and it takes me right here. Then what you can do is hit Insert, Picture, Sorry, insert screenshot, and there's my screenshot. I could just click on it, and there's the proof that I created the triangle. Notice that these are all highlighted, the dots. What you want to do is hit the right arrow and hit enter. Type in demo 2. Enter, and then we'll do another demo on the next uh, video.